Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and I run the fashion and beauty blog Jeans in a Teacup. And today I'm going to be doing a closet clean out and organization. And I'm also going to be sharing tips to help you clean out your closet and get organized for the new year as well. So I have a full blog post up on jeansinateacup.com with more in-depth um, explanations and tips um, for how to clean out your closet and why you should clean out your closet. So be sure to check that out if you want more information. Um, but I'm just going to jump right into it and start cleaning out my closet right now. Alright, so first I should show you my closet so you can see how I've tried to organize a little bit already. I did a closet clean out last year around this time and I did organize it a little bit but there's still lots of room for improvement. So as you can see it's like a semi walk-in closet. I can walk into it but you know there's still not a ton of room although this is the biggest closet I've ever had in my life so I'm really thankful for it. Um, but as you can see I have just one rack on each side where I can hang um, my clothes and then above those racks I have my shelving unit for my shoes and that's where I keep the majority of my shoes and then as you can see I have some of my shoes hanging on the door that saves some space and let's see under my clothes you'll see some shelving units that I put in and those help keep my um, sweaters and my jeans a little more organized and then the other thing I did last year was I tried to switch out most of my hangers for the thinner velour hangers to save some space. So that's about where my closet is right now. As you can see, it's still pretty messy. There's still um, a lot I could get rid of um, to make space. And yeah, it's just feeling very cluttered right now and uninspiring. And so I end up not wearing a lot of my clothes because I feel like I just can't see them and um, it's harder to tell what I have. So we are going to start cleaning out right now. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get everything out of your closet. Throw it on the bed, on the floor, just get everything out um, so you can see how much stuff you actually have. So I might not be able to do that exactly because I have limited time. I have to film this over a couple days because I have kids and um, they only give me a little bit of time each day. So I'll probably just pull um, a small chunk out and go through that and yeah, here we go. All right, so I have a section of my closet out and I just wanna share the process for what I would do for my whole closet if I had the time right now. Um, you wanna take them off the hangers and then I basically follow the KonMari method of organization um, where you hold each piece and see if it sparks joy. And if it doesn't, it either goes in the trash or donate pile. And if it does spark joy and you love it and it fits and it's in good condition, then it goes in the keep pile. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do right now. And my general, general rule of thumb is if I haven't worn it in a year, that probably means it's time to get rid of it, even if you do like it. Um, so yeah, I'm really gonna try to stick with that. Although this has kind of been a weird year um, you know, since we weren't allowed to go anywhere, people weren't wearing things as often, and obviously you weren't wearing shoes as often, or your bags as often, or dress clothes as often. So I'm going to be a little more lenient on this rule. Um, I'm just going to imagine um, in a year from now, um, will I want to be wearing this when we're allowed to go out into the world again? So we'll see. Okay, just right off the bat, I'm noticing a lot of blouses that I've had in my closet for years. And looking at them, like, I do really like them. Um, but I actually haven't worn them recently. I've noticed that they are kind of made out of polyester. 
and I don't like to wear polyester blouses because they don't breathe and they make me feel sweaty and gross and disgusting. So I actually tend to not wear polyester blouses even though I really like these styles still. So that might be an indication that it's time to let it go. I also will have to try on these tops again. I'm not even sure if some of these tops even still fit me that well. Um, but like I would say, this goes in the um, sell pile. I forgot to, to say that. It's like donate, trash, sell, or keep. Those are kind of the categories that I use. And I'm also noticing what I tend to wear. I tend to wear um, more ethical brands. I tend to wear like more expensive brands, maybe a little bit higher quality brands. I don't wear a ton of H&M clothes anymore. And like I'm noticing I have a lot of H&M blouses and this is really cute as well but I haven't worn it in a long time again because I think it's kind of a polyester material yeah this is polyester 100% so it's kind of not very breathable so I'm gonna probably say no to that this is another one I really like this color this is another one from H&M um, but I just don't wear polyester a lot. So I'm thinking I might have to say goodbye to all of these. We'll see. It's really hard. It's really hard to say goodbye. Um, this is a Zara blouse, but it is another polyester blouse. I cut off the tag, but I'm pretty sure it's polyester. I've noticed, you know, I tend to buy my blouses from Cezanne now, I tend to buy them from Doen, um, and they are using more natural fibers, especially Doen, usually a cotton or something like that, and that's what I prefer to wear. Okay, I want to mention this blouse or this shirt. I bought this from And Other, and Other Stories years ago, and I really like this top but it is not really my style at all now. I am wearing like neutrals um, and this is kind of a crazy blouse for me. It's also uh, like a heavy polyester, I think. And I actually, I don't even think, I might have worn this once um, and it's been in my closet for years. And there's no excuses because it is oversized so it obviously still fits. Um, but yeah, I think it's just time to let it go. All right, so I hope that gives you an idea of how to sort through your closet. Basically, if you haven't worn it in a while, you need to get rid of it. If you um, aren't wearing that style anymore, you should get rid of it. If it's made out of a fabric that you don't like to wear, you should get rid of it. Um, if it's worn out or it has holes or something that you just can't fix, um, you should get rid of it. And I think that's kind of the basic um, rules that I follow when cleaning out my closet. So I hope that helps. All right, so as you can see, this is all the stuff that I was able to clear out of my closet and my drawers. And I actually have even more stuff um, that I have hanging up that I'm going to sell. So this is pretty much all of it, but there is more. So I cleared out a good bit. All right, I am done. I finished cleaning out my closet and I organized it. So what I did was I got a shelving unit to put on the bottom of my closet and that's where I keep folded jeans that I wear often and folded sweaters that I wear often so that um, the sweaters don't stretch out by hanging them on clothes hangers. And then another thing that I do is I make sure all of my hangers are uniform um, and that they're those thin um, like velvet hangers. Um, so that just helps to save space and gives me so much more room to hang things. I also um, cleaned out my jewelry hooks that you see on the wall. I got rid of a bunch of jewelry I don't wear anymore. And then I was able to hang some other things like um, the purse, the clear purse that I filled with scarves that I wear often um, so that I can see them. So that's convenient. 
And then I cleaned out my shoes, so I have um, more space for all of my shoes. And I think that's about it. I just have a lot more space to hang things now, a lot more space um, on the bottom of my closet underneath my clothes because I cleared out a bunch of just random stuff that was there. So yeah, the overall goal was just to have more space in my closet so things didn't feel cluttered. I definitely have more room to hang things now. There's more space underneath my clothes um, because I just cleared out all the junk that was hanging out. So right now I have stored some of my um, nicer bags that I'm not using right now because of the pandemic. So they are all stored in their dust bags underneath um, my dresses. And yeah, everything just seems so much more organized. I also forgot to mention that I do have a dresser over here, which is where I keep my underwear and socks and loungewear and activewear, and then some of the pants that don't fit me right now, but will fit, fit me eventually, and some other um, like off-season clothes. So that's what I keep in this dresser. It's all folded to the best of my ability. Um, I tried to fold the jeans nice and neat. Um, so yeah, that's where I keep the rest of my clothes, but there's not a whole lot in those drawers anymore because I got rid of a whole bunch of that stuff and then moved it to the closet if I had room. So because I like to see my clothes, if they're in my drawers, then I'm less likely to wear them. So I prefer to have everything hanging here in my closet. Um, I tried to hang some of my pants in my closet this time instead of fold folding them in the drawer and then I keep my jeans down there so I can see them better. Um, so yeah, I like to have things hanging where I can see them as opposed to in drawers where I forget about them. Alright, thanks so much for watching my closet clean out. Um, I hope it was helpful and that you uh, got a few tips for how to clean out your closet. You can check out my blog post which will have even more details about my closet clean out and links and the things that I use to organize my closet. So make sure to check that out and I will catch you next time. Bye!